Big labs are now focusing on domain specific large language models, especially the medical. Recently, we covered Google's Medjama, and now Microsoft has dropped this Medify Instruct model. In this video, we are going to install it locally and we will check out how exactly it performs. This is Fahad Mirza, and I welcome you to the channel. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel as it helps a lot. Medify Instruct is a 3.8 billion parameter language model developed by Microsoft Healthcare and Life Sciences, specifically fine tuned for clinical natural language processing tasks. Built from the 5.3.5 mini Instruct based model, this new model represents the culmination of a modular training approach where five specialized expert models were first created by fine tuning on different medical corpora. And then all of these were merged back together using the slurp method to preserve general capabilities while gaining medical expertise. I will be talking more about its training and how it was fine tuned, but for now, let's try to get it installed. So I am using this Ubuntu system. I have one GPU card, NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. I am going to create this virtual environment first. And if you're also looking to rent a GPU or VM on very, very good prices, you can find the link to my compute in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50% for a range of GPUs. So please do check them out. Next, I'm going to install all the prerequisites, which include torch, transformers and stuff. And then I'm launching my Jupyter Notebook and we will download and play with this model in the notebook environment. And while that happens, let's talk a bit more about the training of this model because I think Microsoft has done a really good job there. So the final BetFi Instruct model underwent additional clinical alignment using Microsoft's large scale Mediflow dataset to optimize performance on clinical NLP tasks. Now, the cool thing is that before this, when they trained five specialized experts, they were tuned on different medical data sets, including PubMed papers, medical Wikipedia, medical guidelines, medical coding, and clinical documents. So this model has underwent a um, lot of fine tuning, which makes it of real, real good quality. The whole collection mainly consists of seven small language models, and then they were merged using the slurp or slerp method which i already have covered on the channel you can just go and search it on the channel and you should be able to find heaps of videos around it and now let's download the model i'm just going to use this transformers library and the mod <clears throat> model is being downloaded as you can see there are two shards of it and while that happens let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are Camel AI. Camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling laws with applications in data generation, task automation, and world simulation. And the model is now downloaded. Let's try to do the inference. So what we are going to do, we are going to check it out on different medical benchmarks. So in this first test, I'm going to run a medical keyword extraction text where you can see that there is an operative um, agent or operative report, which is describing some medical procedure like gallbladder removal surgery with findings about gallbladder stones and few other things. And I'm asking the model to extract this medical keyword from this operative note from the anatomical and pathological and other, other stuff. And from there, I am generating the output and then model is going to return me the result. Now, even before I run this, I want to make one thing very clear. Please don't use these medical uh, models as replacement of a doctor or physician. They can't be. They are at very, very early stages. And I don't think so that even when they are advanced, they would be able to fully replace the human doctors. Well, we all wish they do because... Uh, to you know avoid medical bills but anyway i think uh, please you know practice caution this is just for educational purposes these are not to 
you know start uh, curing yourself so make sure that you understand that okay let's run this and there you go so as i was running it it was very very quick and this has extracted um, all the keywords so this shows that model can parse clinical documentation and extract relevant medical terminology which is quite a common clinical nlp task used for coding indexing or creating structured data from unstructured medical text and you can even generate multiple um, medical data sets out of this this could be the one use case okay let's try out another um, test okay next up let's try out a medical q a so i'm just giving you this prompt that what are the uh, something for prescribing metformin in diabetic patients and the system prompt is that answer medical questions accurately and concisely based on clinical knowledge let's run this let's also check the vram consumption so it is consuming close to 8 gig of vram okay and that's a max for it let's check it out it has given us the answer so if i quickly check it with my notes and i have generated these questions answers from another model just to do the comparison and this looks pretty cool to me yep looks very very concise very targeted and of course if you are from this field in any capacity and if you think that you can verify the answer please feel free to do so in the comments okay in the next text what i'm going to do i'm going to check its clinical text summarization which is primarily from the maxim benchmark let's run this and you can see i have given it this text at the top this one that patient presents with 3d history of chest pain and all that stuff summarize the following clinical text into key points for healthcare professionals and there you go so it has um, summarized it and if you look at this answer this looks pretty pretty good to me but of course i'm not a physician or doctor so i can't confirm okay next up let's try out a prompt for a medical coding benchmark okay so let's do this so i am asking you to assign appropriate codes for the given clinical diagnosis and this is the diagnosis so let's run this and see if it is able to assign the codes there you go wow the codes are correct as far as i can tell from the notes from another model which is deep seek and also med gemma but uh, please confirm if you are aware of these codes okay let's try out another one okay next prompt is for the so social determinants of health this is another benchmark which we are testing and i am asking you to identify social determinants of health mentioned in this clinical note and that is the note let's check it out there you go and you can see the speed and not only the speed but the conciseness and the quality of the answer and more importantly of course the correctness which is spot on next up another test from medic benchmark which is primarily for clinical information extraction as you can see i'm asking it to extract structured information from the clinical note including medications dosages and administration routes and there you go it has extracted it very very correctly in a proper format and then in the next test i'm asking it to do some medical guidelines applications and you can see that i have just given it this um clinical guideline and i am asking it to apply this guideline to appropriate treatment based on the patient's presentations and if i go down there you go so it has given a recommendation and again this is just for educational purposes so please don't try to uh, do it at home without any supervision of a doctor anyway so let's try out another one and finally let's just tease the model a bit so i'm asking it how can i last longer in bed don't get me wrong i mean i keep waking up early and can't stay asleep and then system prompt makes it more clearer that provide medical advice on sleep disorders and rest quality issues let's run this 
and see what model comes up with and model has again given a very grounded nuanced answer it is talking about establishing this consistent sleep schedule and then relaxing bedtime routine sleep environment and all that stuff watch your diet exercise limit snap consult this so it's a very very good answer you know what i think after bad jama this is yet another really really cool medical model and if you look at that med jama i thought that that was one of the best model google has released especially the second video the med jama 27 billion i think um, but that was a multimodal one now in the text one i believe this med 5 uh, for the low vram requirement this is one of the good or maybe one of the best small models for the next one week uh, let me know your thoughts on it Please like the video and share it and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for all the support.